So in the last step, step number two, we downloaded our project source code and we unzipped the archives for the iOS project and the Android project. And now we're going to open up the projects in the iOS SDK and the Android SDK. So we'll start with the iOS SDK. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll drag our Xcode project icon over our Xcode icon in the dock or you can just open up Xcode and do it manually. And you can see that we have a project here and all of our project files are included in the project. The next thing that we need to do is we need to drag the plugin folder from our download into the project. So we will add the plugins into our project. And there will be a plugin folder for each plugin that you used in your control panel. And we're going to run this in the iPhone 5 simulator. So we're not going to change any code or we're not going to make any changes or anything like that. And you can see if you do want to look around, you can get um, you know you get a little bit of information out of Xcode if you feel like it. But we're just going to run this in the iPhone simulator, and it's going to compile this. Um, school shortcuts app in the simulator and it's going to launch in the simulator and this simulator has a connection to our control panel so we can refresh the applications contents while it's running in the simulator so an example of that will be if we go to our screens again and let's change the title on this row in this menu which is, if you remember, in our home screen menu option. So we're not going to remove the screen. We're just going to change the title. Right now it reads um, school map. So if we tap on the school map icon, we'll open up the properties window for this um, row. And we'll just say map to school. And we'll hit save. And what you'll learn after you spend a little bit of time is that all of the different screens have lots of different properties. We call these advanced properties. So the type of screen that you're working with will determine what kind of properties you have. So we'll minimize our control panel again. And we're, we're not going to recompile. We're just going to hit refresh with the refresh button. And you'll see that we now have map to school. And when we tap on that row, we get our map. Now we haven't done any advanced properties or any configuration on this map. So no locations are going to show up, but we would add those locations using the control panel. So let's move on to the Android project. So this is the Eclipse operating environment. And we're going to go into the Eclipse menu. And we're going to say File, New, Project. And we're going to choose Android Project. And we're going to choose Android Project from existing code. If you do not have these Android choices in your new project wizard, that means that you have not installed the Android SDK in your Eclipse environment. So we're going to hit Browse and we're going to navigate to that project that we downloaded, the Android project. We downloaded it and unzipped it. We're going to hit Finish. It'll take it a moment to configure these, the project. And then per the instructions, we're going to want to make sure that we open up the properties. If you read the instructions document, you'll see what we're talking about. We're going to open up the properties for this project, and we're going to choose Google APIs 2.2 API Level 8. Not Android 2.2, but Google APIs Level 8. We're going to say Apply. And that's going to make these little red X's go away. There's, there's going to be some errors in your source code if you use the wrong libraries to compile. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start one of my simulators. I'm going to start one of the simulators with level 8 running. The simulators do take a little bit to launch, sometimes a couple of minutes to launch, depending on your computer. So I'm going to pause this video while we wait for this simulator to launch and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what this simulator looks like after it's done launching. I'm gonna go to the Eclipse environment and I'm gonna make this screen a little bit smaller so that we can see the simulator on the left and the Eclipse environment on the right. I'm gonna choose the project in our project navigator on the left. And I'm going to click the Run button 
And what it's going to do is compile this project and assemble all of the source code, and it's going to install the application on the simulator. And you'll see that the application looks a lot like you would expect. We haven't done anything fancy. We've just got a simple um, application with no background color, no background art, anything like that. And this is running in the um, Android SDK, or we compiled it with the Android SDK for level 8, 2.2, and it works exactly like we would expect. So that's the simple approach to step number one, creating a project or an app in your Buzz Touch control panel. Step number two, downloading the source code for iOS and Android from your control panel. And step number three, opening that source code up or that project up in the iOS SDK, which is used in, in Xcode, and the Android SDK, which is used in Eclipse. So we covered a lot. Um, I encourage you to log into your control panel and explore all of the different options. Jump in the forum if you have any questions and start participating in the community. And we wish you well in your app-making projects.